Motherboards are confusing as fuck. Basically, this component allows connection between all components. GPU, CPU, storage, and everything else. And also peripherals attached to the computer. It is basically the primary component inside of the computer and without a motherboard, the computer cannot function. So that being said, if you are looking for a gaming PC, you need to get this component right. And it can be super confusing for many reasons, like which features are actually important. Is it compatible with your CPU? And most importantly, is it actually good enough for your CPU? In this video, I will answer all of those questions and more, and I will also give you specific motherboard recommendations for different budgets and different needs, whether it's from Intel or AMD. The link to the best motherboards that I will mention today will be down below in the video description, as well with my personal PC help in case you want me to help you out. My name is Valentino, and if you find valuable information throughout this video, leave a like and subscribe as it helps helps the channel a lot. With that being said, let's start. So first, let's talk about compatibility. A motherboard can be compatible with the right chipset, meaning that it's compatible with Intel or AMD. So if you have a motherboard that supports Intel CPUs, it cannot support AMD ones. Also, each CPU work with one specific chipset, meaning that you can't put an AMD Ryzen 5 5600, for example, inside of a motherboard that supports a Ryzen 5 7600. And I know it sounds confusing, so let me explain. For AMD 7000 series CPUs, you want to get a motherboard that ends in 600. Now, for most people who want to do gaming, B650 motherboards are actually the sweet spot for these type of CPUs. For AMD 5000 series CPUs, you want to get a motherboard that ends in 500. For most people who want to do gaming, B550 is going to be the sweet spot. Then for Intel 12, 13, and 14, gen CPUs that ends in a cave, you want to get a Z690 motherboard or Z790. These type of motherboards will allow you to overclock your CPU. And then if you want an Intel CPU that is locked, so no K in the end, you want to get a B660 motherboard or B760. And please be aware here, you do not want to get a B650. I said B660. And this is quite important because as I said before, B650 motherboards are for AMD. So if you get a B650 motherboard and an Intel CPU, is not compatible and you will be losing your money and that's going to become a headache. So be aware, B660 is for Intel, B650 is for AMD. Now let me explain to you the difference between low-end motherboards and high-end ones. To keep it simple for you, usually higher-end motherboards come with more M.2 slots, which means that you can upgrade to more storage down the line. However, most people do not need more than two M.2 slots. Also, higher-end motherboards have better VRMs, which is quite important if you want a high-end CPU, because if, for example, you want an i9-14900K, you do not want to buy the cheapest motherboard that can support it, because VRMs are going to help the temperatures of the CPU to stay low. So if you have a motherboard with bad VRMs, so a low-end motherboard, and you have a high-end CPU like the i9 14900K, it's going to be a disaster, and you are going to be hurting your CPU and not achieving the performance that you want. And also some high-end motherboards come with a better audio codec, which means that it has better audio quality. However, keep in mind that this is mostly for content creators, and this matters only if you connect your headphones in the motherboard and only through the headphones cable, not through USB. And also higher end motherboards usually have more ports. But the most important feature in my opinion is BIOS flashback. What is BIOS flashback and why is it so important? Well, in my opinion, this is the most important feature, especially if you are a first time builder, so you haven't built any system before and you don't have a system right now. And I would explain why this is so important, but before doing that, I want to say that if you are finding valuable information so far, leave a like and subscribe. The reason why this one is so important is because it's a small button that will allow you to update the motherboard without having to have a CPU already. And it is a great feature because let's say there are new CPUs in the market. Let's say you want to buy a Ryzen 9000 series, which 
which are coming out soon and this type of CPUs for example the Ryzen 9 9950X is going to be compatible with Ryzen 7 1000 series motherboard which means that you can buy a motherboard right now that's going to support that CPU that's coming out later on however if you do not have BIOS flashback and you don't have a CPU from the Ryzen 7000 series platform if it doesn't have BIOS flashback you are not going to be able to update this motherboard unless you buy a CPU that's already in the platform or you buy a motherboard with BIOS flashback so you just press the button it's very easy to update and once you update this motherboard then your CPU is going to be compatible with your motherboard now motherboard have different sizes and you have to get a motherboard that fits inside of your case. We have mini ITX motherboards, which are the smallest ones, and they are compatible with all PC case sizes. However, the point of getting one of these motherboards is to get a mini ITX case, that way you have a very small system. So I wouldn't recommend you pairing this type of motherboard with any other case that's not mini ITX. Then we have micro ATX motherboards, which are compatible with micro ATX cases and ATX cases as well. And then ATX motherboards, which are the biggest ones, are only compatible with ATX cases. So you definitely do not want to get a micro ATX case and an ATX motherboard because that's just not going to fit. And now let's talk about the best motherboards in 2024 for different budgets and needs. Remember that the links to these motherboards as well with bonus ones will be down below in the video description. So I will leave the best motherboard for every single scenario down below. So for AMD 7000 series, I have three options for you. If you are working on a tight budget, I recommend you getting the ASRock B650M Pro RS. This micro ATX motherboard is going for around $135 when recording this video remember that the price might be different when you are watching this basically this motherboard is amazing and it is going to support up to a ryzen 7 7800x 3d which is the fastest cpu in the market at the moment for gaming so if you want to operate on the line that cpu you can do it and this motherboard has all the features that you need for gaming it doesn't have wi-fi included so if you need wi-fi you can get the same motherboard wi-fi version that's going to cost you a bit more but anyway this motherboard at this price point in my opinion is the best one especially if you are working on a tight budget in the am5 platform now for a high-end motherboard from the same platform i recommend you the asus tough b650 gaming wi-fi this one is great right now it's on a huge discount so if you see it at this price point i think that is going to be the best option because it has plenty of ports all the features that you need for gaming and you can upgrade up to the most beefy cpus from amd so if you want a motherboard that has no compromises in the future for amd cpus this motherboard is going to be great and then the second option would be the gigabyte b650 hours elite the only difference is that this motherboard is a bit more expensive at the moment but in my opinion you should check the latest prices and then buy the one that is the cheapest one when you are watching this video and if you want better audio quality because maybe you're a content creator and you need that extra quality from your audio codec then i recommend the asus rockstrix b650e dash f that's going to be perfect because it has all the same features as the other high-end motherboards but you get better audio quality now for amd ryzen 5000 series on a budget i recommend you the gigabyte b650 gaming x b2 this is a great ATX motherboard with all the features that you are going to need for gaming and it's only $80 at the moment depending on when you're watching this video. But for $80 I don't think there's a better motherboard than this one. Now it's not the most complete motherboard, it doesn't have plenty of ports but at this price point I think that is amazing especially for CPUs like the Ryzen 5 5600X but you can also buy the fastest CPU in the platform which is the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D and have this motherboard and it's going to be completely fine and compatible. Now, if you want a motherboard with better audio quality from the same platform, I recommend you the Gigabyte B650 Aorus Elite AX version 2. This one has more ports than the last one. It is better overall and you also get better audio quality and I would only recommend you buying this motherboard if you are already on the AM4 platform and you are thinking of upgrading your motherboard because you need that better audio quality. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it because it is quite expensive for this platform and if you are going to be upgrading your CPU, I recommend you upgrading to a newer platform like the AM5 platform and a Ryzen 7000 series CPU or wait a little bit more until the Ryzen 9000 series are out in the market. Now for ultra budget builds, then I will leave bonus motherboards in the video description as I said before. 
Now for Intel 12, 13 and 14 gen CPUs that end in a K, I recommend you getting a good motherboard, I wouldn't cheap out because you will need good VRMs to support these CPUs and get the best performance that you can out of them. So if you want a more budget oriented motherboard for these CPUs, I recommend you the ASRock Z690PG Riptide and this one is going for almost 130 bucks when I'm recording this video. It has all the features that you need, good VRMs for even the i7 13700K. Keep in mind that this is a DDR4 motherboard, it doesn't support DDR5 memory, so if you want to buy DDR5 memory, you will have DDR5 motherboard alternative in the description. If you want a high-end motherboard on the other hand, then I recommend the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Elite AX. This one is going for 230 bucks, so it is quite expensive, but it has all the features that you will need on a high-end level. So this motherboard is perfect, and the only thing that it lacks is the audio quality. It's not really that good, so if you are a content creator, then I recommend you the Asus Rockstrix Z790 Dash a gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, very similar compared to the other high-end motherboard I've mentioned, but you get a better audio codec, so better audio quality overall. It is quite expensive, but in my opinion, if you're a creator, it is worth the investment. Now for CPUs that are locked or just any CPU that it doesn't have a K in the end, I recommend you getting the ASRock B660M Pro RS. It is very decent for under $100. It is not the most complete motherboard out there, of course. And then if you want a higher end motherboard for these type of CPUs, then I recommend you the Gigabyte B760 Aorus Elite AX. This one is great. It is quite more expensive than the other one, but it's going to give you much better features overall. And it has a BIOS flashback, which is quite important if you want an Intel CPU that's 14 gen. Remember that down below, I will leave bonus alternative motherboards for every size, different features and different budgets. And in the top link, you will find my personal PC help where I will personally make sure that you get the right gaming PC, the entire gaming PC, not just the motherboard, of course, with no bottlenecks. That way you get the best performance for the price, whether you are a gamer or a content creator. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.